I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Friday, October 24th. Sign waving groups in support and against the anti-gay marriage measure Prop 8 have been popping up at street corners in cities around Orange County. The spontaneous rallies are spurred by buzz on sites like Craigslist or organized by groups supporting or opposed to the measure. A nonpartisan poll released this week showed the gap narrowing, but no on eight ahead by eight percentage points. Vonda Simon of Newport Beach admits she made a mistake leaving all of her jewelry in her unlocked car overnight. Still, the cosmetics entrepreneur says she feels violated and sick that someone stole the small safe containing the jewelry from behind the passenger seat of her Bentley. Simon and husband Scott estimate the jewelry worth more than $500,000 and are offering a $10,000 reward, no questions asked, for its safe return. In Irvine, the board of the Great Park agreed to pay a consultant up to $285,000 to develop a fundraising plan they hope will bring in up to $22 million to pay for park projects. The contract with Cora LLC calls for the consultant to create a strategic fundraising plan, which will take about a year. Then it will be up to Great Park leaders to actually raise the funds, and Great Park staff estimates, depending on economic conditions, that would take up to two more years. Downed power lines apparently sparked a fire which spread from a tree to seven backyards in unincorporated Tustin yesterday afternoon. 45 firefighters battled the blaze, which broke out near Vanderlip Avenue. And power, phone lines, and cable were knocked out for about 20 houses while lines are being repaired. La Habra police have arrested four women for operating an illegal massage parlor on Whittier Boulevard. Authorities said they received a number of anonymous tips about the establishment and discovered it was in violation of La Habra Municipal Code to operate the parlor without a license. Massage therapists require special permits from the city beyond other businesses, according to the code. Neighboring tenants said they saw women in high heels and see-through tops standing around, as well as used condoms in the public restroom. And Irvine police are asking for the public's help to locate a missing 22-year-old man who may be delusional. Mansour Ahmad of Pomona was reported missing Thursday, a day after he was last seen at work in Lake Forest. Family members and authorities are concerned Ahmad, who has a history of suicidal comments, is not taking his medication. Ahmad is 5'9", with a medium build and a stubble, and was last seen driving a yellow Mazda Miata. And you can read more about all of these stories at ocregister.com.